Finally, the drought is over. The LA Lakers have their first win of the NBA season. Uh, it comes in Game 6 against the Denver Nuggets, who they previously lost to in rather embarrassing fashion earlier this week. Uh, they get the 11-point win to move to 1-5 and five on the season. And a lot of different things to talk about. The defense wasn't as strong as it had been, giving up 110 points to the Nuggets. Uh, but, you know, made plays when they had to. But the thing that I want to talk about is, of course, the, the one thing that's going to be the story really coming out of this game. And that is sixth man Russell Westbrook. They moved him over to the bench last game in an attempt to spark spark the offense, spark the lineup, spark something, keep the, the energy up. Who knows? It was It just was not working to start the season. The fit was bad. The vibes were worse. It was it was not a good start, and things were already kind of seeming to go off the rails. But credit to Darvin Ham for being able to stick to his plan. He had said kind of, you know, all summer after he got the job that he wanted to make it as, as successful a situation for Russ as possible. And here, coming off the bench, in two games, Russ has looked like a completely different player compared to this first... Uh, first week of the season week and a half so in two games off the bench Russ has had more minutes than he had the first four games he played in Uh, he's one point shy from his season high he's had 18 points in both games but the efficiency has been much much higher tonight I believe he was six of 12 he had 18 points two of four from three four of four from the free throw line he wasn't forcing shots he wasn't taking early in the shot clock jumpers with the lead any stupid things like that like he had been kind of getting the headlines for doing a few games ago instead he was really controlling the pace of the game he was doing the things that Russell Westbrook is so good at but it was within the flow of the game he wasn't trying to force things to go to his speed he was kind of just dictating how the tempo was going to go you could see him you know he was he was busting out new shimmy moves he was rocking defenders to sleep he had that sweet crossover on jamal murray where he laid it up and in he was driving right at the basket and the reason why that was working is because staggering him with lebron and ad just creates space russ coming in as the sixth man is basically saying russ get to the rim however you can if you're still as athletic as you know as you've been, that is a huge misadvantage, a disadvantage to anyone trying to cover you, because his physicality and his athleticism is part of what makes him, you know, such a unique and at times dominant player. So to be able to just put him in with shooters, um, well, for lack of a better word, shooters, that's still a work in progress, but to put him in with more shooters, to allow him to collapse the defense in as he battles to get to the rim, he just batters the defense over and over, that's creating open shots. You saw guys like Lonnie Walker tonight feasting from three. Guys like Austin Reeves and Matt Ryan, who I believe are the only two on the team shooting over 40%. Like, it's crazy to see the efficiency. So then, when you have Anthony Davis and LeBron James without Russ, you really see them able to space the floor out more. Anthony Davis was getting to the rim a little bit more than he does when it was the three of them. He was taking more of those mid-range shots as well. He looked good on those early, kind of struggled a little bit, but everything looked easier. Whereas before, in those first five games, everything looked like they were making it as hard as possible. Like they just needed it to be more difficult. Now, like I said, this doesn't solve everything that was going on with this team. They still need to upgrade shooters. If they can bring in, you know, Buddy Heald, Miles Turner, or some shooters from Charlotte, or whatever other team I'm not seeing here that might be sellers, I think it's going to be huge. And hopefully, you would hope that if Westbrook continues to play like this and can lead the bench unit like this, that either the, the... quality of player that they would be able to trade for packaging Russ and those two picks or you look and start to see what just the two picks can get you if you can keep Russ keep this version of Russ if it proves to keep working and this is a Lakers fan overreacting to two games of Russ off of the bench but the efficiency is there and more importantly than that he doesn't look like he doesn't look like it's a demotion like he doesn't look like like dismayed by this and i think that's probably the key is that he's he seems completely bought in he's said all the right things through two games about just wanting to help the team and just trying to do his best and it's honestly showing and the team is feeding off of that energy that crowd tonight was like 
going crazy for Russ. And just the other day, you would have heard them all groaning when he had the ball in his hands, like, pass it, don't shoot it. Uh, like, it was, it was getting ugly quick. And I think that might be, you know, a humbling thing. Maybe that's something that kind of puts things in perspective. But... The fact that he's gone to this bench role and in two games has already come out looking like a more efficient, dominant, and aggressive type of player, like not having to cede to to Braun or AD is probably a pretty liberating thing when you consider, you know, the type of player Russ is. He's not a jump shooter. That kind of is what every player becomes around a nucleus of LeBron and AD. They take up so much space in the middle and in the mid-range. They need shooters that can just consistently get those catch-and-shoot open shots or that know how to cut to the rim when the time comes. And instead, they're kind of making the Lakers bench unit and this this supporting cast a lot like what Houston did in the one season Russ was there where they traded Clint Capella, kind of just said, Russ, okay, when James Harden's out, you're just going to go crazy. Just go to the rim. We don't have a center. The space is all yours. And the results were were pretty strong from that point on for him. He had been out of sorts to start that year with Harden and kind of rounded into form as the offense shifted around him. And the, I don't think that's quite this. I think he does have to quite kind of fit in a little bit. And I don't know what exactly the, the defensive um, ceiling is going to be for a second unit led by Russell Westbrook. Um, but that's all stuff to discuss another day. Because all that matters right now is they've got their first win. The offense looks a lot better. The defense, uh, like I said, can improve to after tonight's performance, but they have still been a top five defense in the league, which is a testament to Darvin Ham. Anthony Davis played through lower back soreness, tightness, whatever you want to call it, uh, and said you know he was going to just kind of try to keep doing what he's doing post game. Did say it was sore, but hopefully that's something that stays manageable and doesn't get pushed or anything like that because if this team can get into a nice little groove that's going to be cool to see it's going to be exciting to see because lebron is still doing crazy things in year 22 i can't believe some of the stuff that he's he's pulling off on the court and and ad has those moments where he looks like you know the ad of a couple years ago or, or new orleans era and it's just like they're like a a couple pieces away from really hitting something that could be, you know, just really fun to watch. I don't think it's going to be go storm and take <laughs> take control of the Western Conference, anything like that. Like, I'm not delusional on that. But I just want something that's more fun to watch. And this, this team so far through two games of Westbrook sixth man has been unbelievably exponentially more exciting to watch. So I hope this is something that they continue to build on. Uh, the Denver, that's a quality win over the Denver Nuggets. They've kind of had their stops and starts so far through this early part of the season, too. So we'll see what happens um, as far as the Lakers go. But I'm really encouraged. I'm really encouraged by six man Russ here. I think, you know, it'd be poetic justice if he went on to win six man of the year. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm just saying 18, 8, and 8, that'd be pretty cool. To see him, you know, completely embrace this new role and get, you know, that type of recognition for it while also, you know, really fitting this team better. That's all really I wanted to talk about. I just kind of wanted to get on here and share some thoughts about Six Man Russ, Six Man of the Year, Russell Westbrook. Start the campaign now. It's over. Uh, just doesn't matter. No one else needs to needs to apply Jordan Poole. Sorry. Um, uh, if you Lakers fans... Please give me your thoughts on on this or what you want to see the team do if if Russ embracing this role kind of changes how you view the team because I know it does impact what I think the ceiling can be and just how I feel watching them from game to game. I know I'm going to be more excited to watch them going in the coming weeks just to see them figure this out or see what they can do. Uh, so yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comments or anyone else, uh, Westbrook fans. I know he has fans that aren't Lakers fans. Just you know, a lot of people are writing him off. So I hope that the the fans, the longtime fans of his, can you know be encouraged by performances like this because he is still a really gifted player, and it is still super fun to see him when he's having nights like this, where he's having that type of fun, and you can feel it, and it's infectious, and the team is feeling it, and the crowd is feeling it. And it's just, it was cool to see that, uh, especially so quickly after all of, all of those people were so quick to, you know, want him shipped out of town immediately, get the trades done, doesn't matter what you can get. So take your victory lap, uh, enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.